Okay, less of a video, more of a photo essay really. Uh, just a quick hack on changing the CMOS battery in my laptop. The 8930 is a, a, an old laptop now, but I only use it for browsing and word processing, so it does the job. But it was losing the time um, and the date, so it had to be really the CMOS battery. And they're about, I don't know, between four and six pounds if you buy them. But that's a bit of a ridiculous price when you can consider you can get eight 2032 lithium batteries from places like Ikea for a pound. So uh, I figured that to be a workaround for this. Now the battery is hidden well away deep inside the, the base of the laptop. And if you look to the top left of this picture, you can probably just see the red and black wire uh, sticking out by the hard drive case. So I had to take the whole laptop to bits and it was a pain in the backside. Good opportunity to clean out the fans and the filters, so um, not a total waste of time. But as you can see, the battery's tucked away up underneath the main part of the motherboard, really, really inaccessible. Uh, and as you can see, or you might be able to see from this next image, uh, I have changed the battery before. Um, but it's stuck underneath the motherboard and it plugs into a little JST tag connector on the bottom of the motherboard. So I thought I might be able to uh, to get in there and replace that. And you can see this is the this is a socket for that for that connector and the, and the circle you can see written on uh, drawn on the board is for the battery itself. This is the difference between a two millimeter JST on the right and the actual battery connector. So it wasn't possible just to do a straight swap. So what I did, I bought one of these uh, battery holders uh, off eBay. In fact, I got two for about three pounds fifty, I think. Um, so okay, we're somewhere in the near in the region of replacing the original battery cost, but um, it'll just make changing batteries easier in the future if I need to. Um, so I could have directly soldered the wires on off the old battery. Uh, I found a nice place to tuck this holder away that wasn't going to get in the way of of the system and stop me putting the laptop back together. Uh, the thickness wasn't that much bigger than the original battery, but it wouldn't have fitted where the original battery went in the first place. So I had to find that second location. This is what it looked like when I finished it. Okay, not pretty, not a tidy job, but it's not on show, so I'm not too worried. And it's gonna do the job. So this is the original socket, um, as I said. So that needed to come off. I retinned the connections and you can just see them there. And what I did was soldered on a female two millimeter JST on an extension wire, which made changing the battery that much easier. So the, I've soldered the wires on and then I applied a little bit of uh, hot glue to secure them down and to insulate the terminals. Tucked everything away inside the laptop and uh, unsealed it up. And after I'd sealed it up, I realized I'd done myself a real stupid, or I'd done a real stupid trick. You can just see where the two um, wires are hot glued, just at the, at the bottom center of the picture. And you can see where the wires are running and you see a massive open bay where I could have actually put those, uh, put those batteries and been able to change it just by removing the bottom cover. A job for next time.